espresso. I said to my daughter the other day, I said, do you know I said, that mocha espresso? I said, it's just chocolate milk and espresso. She said, of course I know what a mocha espresso is made out of. Don't you remember how many times I was a barista, how many places I worked when I was younger? You know, mothers sometimes, they just... Anyway, what I have here is a cup of milk which I'm going to scald. That means that I'm just going to let the milk start to bubble around the edges but not come to a boil. And then I've got uh, three and a half ounces of lint, 78% cocoa here. I wanted a darker chocolate. I know you could go to the store and you could buy milk chocolate milk, but it's just too sweet and it just doesn't have that depth of flavor. The coffee will wash it away. You really need a nice, between 70 and 90% cocoa, depending on your taste for a really good, authentic chocolate milk. So let's get started. We'll scald the milk and then we're gonna melt the chocolate into that and then we'll add cold milk until we get the flavor that we like, which is probably about another cup. Oh, here we go. Just around the edges there, goes quickly. So you wanna stop. And then we're just gonna take our chocolate, dump it right in, and stir. You could also do this in the microwave. You could heat the milk in the microwave and then add the chocolate. What you don't want to do is melt the chocolate first and then put cold milk in because the chocolate will seize and it won't be any good and you'll have to start all over again. And this is melting perfectly. So now we have our chocolate milk. draw a shot of espresso. Not very neatly. And there we have mocha espresso. You could serve this in a mug. This is actually a latte glass. This is made for hot coffee drinks. And I just happen to like the glass. It looks nice. Let us know below what you like. Thanks for watching.